Welcome to Star Soaps. If you don't know me, my name is Lana and welcome to my channel. I know, I chose pink color and oh my god, I never let pink colors. Pink is not my color at all. But with some black and some gold and some stencil, it's gonna look beautiful. Uh, also, I want to let you know that this video, I am breaking in several parts. I haven't decided yet on how many, but at least one, two more, maybe, because I want to bring you closer to how I refinish. Uh, um, oh, this vanity has a stool, so I'm gonna attempt to reposter that. Oh, it's surprisingly easy, okay? And also to match the top of this uh, chair, I decided to make the accent pillow. So if you have in your bathroom, you can tidy it up to your uh, cover for your bed with your vanity set. And also I am doing closer look for you to see how I use Guilty Box to refresh the hardware. So in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how I do color wash to darken the pink. I know my lips are pink, but never mind. I don't wear pink and nothing else. I even brought my daughter from a uh, hospital, my second daughter, in a sky blue blanket. Yeah, believe it or not. Yes. So we're doing a color wash and I'm doing a little bit different that I did in my previous video. Now I would link it for you somewhere here so you can watch if you want to see different way of do color wash. And uh, lots of stencils. Yeah, stencils. And we even gonna make some uh, gold boots for this vanity. It's gonna look cute. So as with any project I start, I give a good scrub with the TSP substitute to clean the project from all the dirt or the oils and everything. And then I rinse with the uh, clean water. Also, I have some spots where I need to sand it. So I just give it a rough scuff using 220 grit sandpaper. And to remove the dust, I'm using a tack cloth to wipe it off. For my base color, I'm using Tea Rose from Dixie Belle. It's very nice pink. It's gonna require me probably two coats to cover everything. I want to mention something when you're painting yes you need to take enough paint on your brush but make sure you don't take too much because look at here i have too much paint and you see how it's pulled too much in that corner so you need to be careful it's very hard to uh, spread out in the corner and crevices so be aware of that and so before i apply the second coat I, uh, before I actually paint even dry, I remove this, uh, whatever legs that hold the mirror so I don't have to uh, fight and uh, achieve better result with my paint. I always have a water bottle handy near me so I can spray. So when I spray either on the surface or right directly on the brush, it helps me to spread the color uh, more smooth.
chalk paint, uh, the beauty of the chalk paint dries very fast. So a lot of times after you finish painting your uh, project, it already dry on the areas where you started. So you just give a good shake uh, for your color. And uh, this is me applying the second coat. And you see how much better it's coverage in the second coat. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna need a third coat because it gives you um, full coverage and it's, um, you can see how much it's comparing to previous paint and uh, now, especially right here, you see how good it's covering. Beautiful. And sometimes, yes, you're even gonna have to lay down in the front of your project to be able to reach everywhere where you need to apply the paint. So when you finish applying the paint and you're happy with your coverage, you're gonna let your piece dry. Uh, before you're doing any wash, color wash, you need your base color to be completely dry. For my color wash, I'm using uh, one to four ratio so four parts of water to one part of color uh, as far as the color i'm using today a uh, waverly uh, paint is uh, named ink it's basically black color And I wanted to bring you closer so you can see how runny consistency it is. It's uh, very watered down. So what is color wash technique? It's uh, when you're applying watered down paint on your base color and then you wipe it off with a cloth to give a different effect as far as uh, darkening color, creating shades and stuff like that. And you see it's not so pink anymore and how much to remove of uh, your color wash uh, color it's really up to you if you feel it's too much you can damp a little bit more your cloth and wipe it even more also I want to remind you that all the product I used in this uh, project today and any parts of this project that is coming in the future i am making sure that i am gonna link all the information in the description and even if i cannot find the links for you i'm gonna make sure at least i give you the names the product that i use and you can search maybe in the local stores and uh, figure out yourself Not to myself, Lana, please wear gloves when you're doing color washes. Your nails will be black at the end and oh my god, yes. I had to scrub my hands so badly, <laughs> but I was just too excited to do this, so I forgot to put my gloves on. I also have a bucket of water 
uh, nearby so when my cloth is too full with a color I'm gonna make sure I rinse success uh, wring my cloth and I can wipe it again And a little trick here for you. I want to make a little gold boots for, that's what I call at least, like a boots for uh, the bottom of my vanity. So I measure and I rip the amount of tape, how far I want a color to go. I put the tape over and then at the bottom I mark it off so I don't go beyond that color. I'm using the metallics uh, uh, deco art uh, in the rose gold and uh, just using a paintbrush I painting the bottom of this uh, vanity I want to mention also you should paint away from the tape not towards the tape it will eliminate the any color to seep through and make an even line I ended up doing two applications of this gold rose gold color and before the paint had chance to uh, dry I removed the tape and using the same color I'm using the makeup uh, triangle applicator to apply the color in the stencil. Make sure you always kind of load off on the side so because for stencils it's always the less is more otherwise you're gonna have very smudgy stencil lines. I like doing stencil so much that I was just keep going and going and going and I was like oh my god I have stenciling everywhere stop Lana stop And a little bit more stenciling. Yes, let's keep going with that.
and I decided that we didn't have enough so I I was like yeah let's go a little bit more what the heck you know it's never gonna hurt and if you don't like it so what it's my project it's my piece whatever let's keep going And finally I was done with uh, my stenciling but I decided to add just a little bit uh, dry brushing on the edges uh, of the same uh, rose gold color. To protect this piece today, I opted out for poly acrylic instead of uh, uh, putting wax uh, over. I figured uh, because it's a makeup vanity, it's needed a little bit more durability, so you can uh, wipe it off if you spill anything or anything like that and not be afraid that you're going to take the protective coat off. So I'm um, applying uh, poly acrylic. And it's a Minwax product and I'm doing uh, three coats, lightly sanding between the coats uh, to give a nice and um, very sturdy, durable finish. This is the finished product. Uh, yes, it is pink, but it's not so pink. Although I did left some parts more pinkier than the other ones, just to give you a little texture and contrast. And look at those boots, they're so cute. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and I see you in the next part of this video. Looking forward, thank you guys, bye-bye.